Oh man, that's like having that's like having ten kids and saying pick a favorite, yeah. <laughs> which probably you could. But <laughs> man, there's a lot of artists that are, I'm enjoying working with John Mayer right now a lot because we're finishing up his album. Uh, he's amazing. I think he's a genius. That guy's badass. Uh, <laughs> You know, there's so many artists, man. I remember back in the day, uh, you know, Gladys Knight. Oh, my God. She was like, I was in love with her. She was the nicest, not only she the most talented, but the nicest human being. Uh, so I tend to uh, like artists that are just good human beings, you know, whatever personality that is. They're just at the end of the day, they're just good humans, you know. Uh, and I'll never forget the first time I met her. I was like, wow. I mean, someone like Alicia Keys as well. I mean, she's got such a big heart. Um, you know, there's so many artists that come to mind, you know, that um, it's it's hard, you know. I believe that, you know, I treat people the way I want to be treated. And once the dust settles in the studio, you know, I want to be treated like this. And I demand, in a way, that type of treatment. And it's amazing how that comes right back, you know. So I've had... 99.9 percent of the time i've had great experiences with artists i don't you know it's it's crazy because tell us some dirt about it i'm like i don't have any you know, you know today yeah you get i think it's like a two-part question like who who do you want to work with today or who would you work like your heroes right like led zeppelin right imagine working with led zeppelin at their peak or whatever but now man i'd like Radiohead, stuff like that, you know. I mean, if I could work with someone like Radiohead, that would be the most amazing thing, you know. Uh, I like, you know, I like bands, man. I like, you know, I like being in, in that environment where, you know, where there's friction, but yet there's camaraderie. There's, you know, that that, that soup, you know, it's, it's really exciting. So uh, a band like Radiohead that takes chances and, does it all you know they always go against the grain uh someone like you know i wish i had work with prince you know like when he was alive i mean that that would have been the highlight of my career you know so yeah i there's a lot of artists that i wish i could you know yeah yeah uh but those are the ones that especially radiohead that comes to mind right now i wouldn't use the word hate mm -hmm. but what are not, what can you do without and i can do without some of the egos you know, it's like uh, everybody's trying to prove something for the wrong reason. Not everyone, but a lot of people do. Yeah. And for whatever whatever that reason is, you know, that I can do with less of that. Okay. <laughs> you know, I stopped thinking about stuff like that a long time ago because th that would drive me nuts. I stopped listening to mixes on the radio. I stopped listening to anything after it leaves here because I... I was always disappointed, <laughs> you know, like, mastering, screw this up. Oh, the radio's smashing it, and you can't hear that delay. You can't hear that, or you hear too much of this. And So I uh, that used to, yeah, keep me up at night. But I haven't really, you know, I've adapted to once it's done, it's done. And I, I have no control over it. Uh, so what that teaches me is, like, hey, quality time. If you're mixing for a, this hour make it the best you can you know and that's that is good advice for anyone right just be the best mixer for that hour if you're a dad for these three hours be the d best dad be quality time so uh so that you don't have to go back and re regret some of the decisions you made <laughs>